rock crawler bells up here, eh? Freaking right it is, boys and girls. Well, I got out the old Axial and I got out the old T-Rex 4. So I did some little tweaks I did. On the T-Rex 4, I did a gear change so I get a little bit more top end out of her. So I'll have to get that out to give her a rip and try her out, boys. But if anybody's looking to upgrade their ESC and their friggin' motor for their old rock crawlers, Hobby Wing brush assist with sensor is the way to go, boys. These things just crawl. I put the old big tires from the axle on the tracks this I did. So we're gonna have to try that out. Did some body trimming and stuff and bumper trimming so everything clears when she's crawling, boys. But she's decent. So I can't wait to try that out. And we'll try that out together, we will. Hey, why wouldn't we? So that's what I did with that boy. Freaking right I did. So the Axial, I also did a gear change. I haven't put her back together yet. Cause I gotta drill a hole for the one screw because now that, that gear's in there, boys, she needs to be way out to the frame. I had to undo these things to fit the old motor in there, boys. Running the same system in this thing, running the hobby wing, censored brushless system. The only difference is the motor, boys. In this one, I have the uh, 1800K motor. And in this one, I have, I think it's a little bigger than it is. The T-Rex 4 is definitely faster, I'll tell you that on top end. 23 hundo in the Traxxas. So I got the 18 hundo in that one, and the 23 hundo in the other one. But this one here, these crawl really nice, these axials, I will say that. And I don't know why, but she's got the old T-Rex 4 tires on her, she does, eh? Freaking right it does. So we'll get that thing out too, and we'll try these out now that I've tweaked them a little bit. Why wouldn't I, eh? Hey? Why the hell wouldn't I? Definitely got more top end. Now, boys, hang on to her. <sighs> Decent. Just so you know, when I did the gear change on these, I didn't lose any crawling ability because with them censored brushless motors, they just right down to a crawl, boys. So I gained a little top end with this one and I also kept the old crawling. Just gonna do some freaking maintenance on this thing though. Some of my LED lights are just dickered, boys. They're all falling off, they are. These are my headlights, I think, eh? The old headlight arooskies. Should put them in the bumper. Eh, I should pop that bumper off. Put them behind the old bumper arooski there. I'll just drill a hole right through that and put them in there. Actually, let's do that right now. Why wouldn't we? What we're gonna need is a drill bit. A little bit smaller than that one. That's it. That's it, boys. So, don't forget to subscribe and like if you like this video. Hit that notification bell bar button because Dirty Old Bills is getting back in the RCs he is. I just ordered a new toolbox for all my RC parts because I get tired of carrying stuff around. And I also ordered one for work I did. So I'll have to show you them. I got the old Stanleys, eh? The old Stanleys off the old Amazonage, boys. So I'll show you them when they come in. For now, let's get a hole in this thing. Oh. One, eight, one. That's a sharp bit, boys. And a dead battery. Good old DeWalt, eh? Oh, yeah, she's dead or dicks. Frick sakes. I just happen to have another one right here, boys. Just happen to have one more, I do. Yeah. If I can get it up. Ow, charger. There's not that on there. Not that in there. And away we go. Holy, that drill bit is wonderful. Just jabbed right into the steering I did. So there we go, now that we have that in there, we could probably feed a little lightage through there, boys, without breaking it off. Let's see if we can't do that. Ah, eight, ah. Oh, I need my heat gun too, I do. Uh-oh, what was that? Did I break a wire? So we gotta try to slide that through there, we do. But that's part of the friggin' frame, boys. How do you get that through there? Oh, right there on the side. Let me go grab some tools and let me plug in the hot glue gun. What we gotta do is loosen off a screw or two. I'd say one, boys. Let's just loosen off one, eh? One on each side. Holy, they're rusty. She's due for a WD-40 spray. Don't forget to spray your RCs with WD-40, boys. Makes them last longer, keeps them lubricated, and all the gears and stuff doesn't get all dicked over. So we'll get this off and get that off, like so. Push this up, just enough to get the light through. Then we'll put the other light through. Wherever it went. Right there, gotta straighten that one out too, we do. There we go. We'll flip her upside down her. Take her through the holes I just drilled. If they're big enough, they sure are. Oh, the boys are tight too, that's what I was hoping for. Oh yeah, freaking right they are. See if you can't get this one in a little further though. Probably bust it right off, we will. Oh, oh, careful. Easy. Gentle. So there we go, they're in. So now all we can do is Tip this back up like so. The screw's back in her while the heat gun's heating up. If I can find the hole, Jim. Where's the hole, Jim? Slide that screw in like so. Slide this screw in like so. A little hot glue around that, baby. Is this thing working, boys? She dicked over. Oh yeah, there she goes. Get her flowing, Jim. Need to go out and get myself some more hot glue sticks too. This is the last one. She's not quite warm yet, boys. We're gonna have to give her a minute here. Cause we gotta straighten up all these wires now cause they're just all dicked all over the place. Oh, that's gonna go into here, it does. 
What is going on here? Oh, wait. I think my glue gun's cocked, boys. I think I left her plugged in too long, I did. Oh, there it goes. It's all in the way you hold your tongue. Well, that didn't do nothing, boys. Not a goddamn friggin' thing. What the hell's really going on? When all fails, get out the zip ties, eh? Now, as you can see on this axle, I had to do quite a bit of fabrications to get things the way I wanted them, eh? I wanted to wait in the front because I got the battery in the back. Normally, this thing is back here or whatever because I'm running a big ass battery right there on this thing when the box is on. And it works decent. That's probably why it works so good. She's even got a gas tank on it, boys, just so you know. But it slides right through the body, and this goes right through there, and plug plug Ruski. That's a lot better with the lights in there. They won't get all bashed up now. Oh, I did break a wire off. For frig's sakes. I'm gonna have to fabricate that back together. Oh, I just want to give a big shout out to Dave there. Dave, he sent me some treats, eh? Good old Dave. Gave me a little letter. And uh sent me a few American treats, eh? Thanks a lot. That's friggin' decent. Check it out, boys. Who's getting fat tonight? Dirty old Nelson is. Friggin' right. That's awesome. Appreciate that, man. Hey, why wouldn't I? I'll share them, I will. Hey, I'll share them around the household. Maybe. Maybe I'll just leave them out here in my toolbox. That's probably the best thing to friggin' do. Well, that worked real fucking good. What's really going on? Oh, fuck sakes. Come on. Dick. Things aren't looking too good here, boys. You know how much time and effort I got into wiring this thing up? It's ridiculous. Oh my god. These wires can't even look at them. And they break. I'm gonna have to pull that one back just to splice it. You probably can't even see what I'm doing here, can you? Probably not. Why would you? The teeth are out, they are. Nothing like a good teeth job. It's the only problem with these tiny little wires. Friggin' teeth actually work better because then you don't bust them all the crap. Like I already did, but you know what I'm saying. How am I supposed to twist that together? There's not enough room. That little twisty twisty. I'm just gonna have to solder them, boys. Where's the solder gun? Get that thing fired up. Why would I turn that on? See if this thing's working yet. Glue gun's cocked. No, need no new uh, glue gun. Oh, my glue gun's had it. That's glued a lot of shit, though, in its ears. All right, so that's together. Oh my god, how am I gonna get that together? Fingers are too big for this job. Oh, something's happening. Oh, was. I'll get her. Don't worry. Have an eye, boys. There we go. Got that one twisted together. Now will it go back around here and over there? It sure will. Now we just gotta get out the old soldering gun and give her a little because we don't have to tape that up. It's just the ground, it is. So what we need to do here is we need to get out the solder. Make sure the tip's hot. Amazon. She's not top line, but she works. I got her. Freaking right I did. So now that's together for about five, ten minutes or so. We'll put that down there, we'll put that over here. And we'll run that over to this way. Let's go over top. No, we can't. Let's go underneath. There we go. That's better. Get her under the old doodad. All right, let's slot the battery in and see if it works. Let's see if we got juice on the spruce. Sure do. There you go, eh? The green monster, boys. Friggin' right. That's perfect. So we got that done. So there's one less thing off my list, it is. I'm looking forward to getting these crawlers out, big time. Won't be long now, eh? So what I should be doing right now is doing a little WD, boys. A little W old D ski on the old Traxxas. T-Rex foreskins. You want to try not to nail it right into the friggin' electronics. Just kind of go around them, eh? There we go. Hey? Look at that, eh? So put that over here. Give this one a spray down. Oh, careful. Gentle. All over my golf cart, why wouldn't I? There we go, boys. Decent. So we'll just let them drip dry and stuff like that. This is just a short little video there of uh, giving me an update on the old RCs, boys. Should be time to get the old trailer up front, get cleaning it out. We're just counting the days, now we are. But hopefully you like this little video here of me just dinking around, and like I said, thanks a lot, Dave, for the goody goodies from the old American, eh? Why wouldn't you? Have a good night, don't do anything I wouldn't do, and you know what to do for now.